legacy goes beyond China and to many other parts of the world. Earlier, we spoke to the country manager for the Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa, John Masharia, about what hybrid rice means to Africa. First of all, rice production in this country, in Kenya, is, is a priority. And uh, the country produces about 150,000 metric tons of rice vis-a-vis -vis a demand of about 500,000 metric tons. And part of the reason why we have this deficit in production is because of low adoption of yields, improving technologies. And in this particular case, you find that uh, most of the smallholder farmers that uh, the country has, they're basically using uh, seed varieties that their protein probably elapsed a couple of years ago. And in this particular case, uh, what you then needed to improve production is for smallholder farmers to improve hybrid varieties that are able to be more water efficient, more nutrient efficient, and, and then be able to actually help smallholder farmers improve their yields and also improve uh, their incomes. For some of the high yielding varieties that we have, include the Narika variety that has been widely promoted um, under the East African uh, Productivity Program. Hybrid rice is a priority for most African countries. And this is the reason why there has been a white, for example, in East Africa, there has been the East Africa Productivity Program that has sought to encourage smallholder farmers to adopt uh, high, yield, uh, high yielding varieties, which are more uh, water efficient, which are more resource efficient, but are also able to give smallholder farmers uh, three times the, uh, the yield that they could actually get from other varieties. And in that regard, whether you're in West Africa or South Africa, then the need to actually adopt higher yielding varieties becomes all the more important, especially for a country like Kenya, which has a production deficit of about 350,000 uh, metric tons. The country is heavily reliant on, on rice imports from countries such as Tanzania and uh, you know, Pakistan. But if smallholder farmers could uh, take up more uh, higher yielding varieties, you understand that you could actually reduce uh, the rice deficit that we have, but also reduce and improve on the balance of trade as regards to rice imports uh, in the country.